welcome back to another episode of Drinking Wild Black. All right, so today I got a special joint. This is Doozy Noche, collaboration between Holmes Brewery, which I know comes out of Michigan, and obviously Well Works, which also comes out of Colorado. I don't know exactly where in Colorado, but either way, this is their barrel aged Imperial Stout, uh, aged with toasted pecan, Vietnam cinnamon, maple syrup. Milk Sugar, Madagascar, and Indonesia Vanilla Bean, Ecuador and Ghana Cocoa Nibs. So, it's a mouthful as always, which I don't expect nothing less than that. Um, shout out to my man Doozy who did the artwork on here. He always does such beautiful artwork on all these uh, barrel aged styles they have, especially the, anything that's labeled the Doozy stuff. That's definitely him. So, that's dope. I don't, you know, I can't even get into describing this, but. I do love that full moon in the middle. That that excuse me, a quarter moon in the middle. That joint's dope as hell. So, anyways, we about to get to this beer. Um, it might be a little bit of tough time pulling this wax off here, so we gonna see what's going on with it, cause they they don't play when they wax their stuff up. And I'm gonna assume that's to part of it being you know concerned about the uh, possibly getting infection and stuff like that. I don't know what the ABV is on here. I haven't looked. If I don't have it, you know. As usual, it's going to get posted up. So let's see if I got enough wiggle room on here to get this off. If not, I'll keep cutting. There we go. I'm able to get it a little bit. Uh, not yet. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All right. So you ain't just getting this joint easily. That's for sure. You're going to have to fight for this joint. Anyways, let's get to this joint. So it's not going to be ice cold. It's... uh. Excuse me, it's not room temperature. It's a little chilly. I had it in the fridge for a while. I've been holding on to this for a long time and waiting. Now, this is pouring beautifully. It ain't super maple syrupy thick like I expected. It poured not thin, but perfectly balanced, in my opinion, based upon me just watching it pour out of there. It has a nice, small, tiny, non-existent head that just pretty much dissipated fast. Low carbonation on there, but got some mean-ass legs. So that tells me a good sign with the legs part. Could be wrong, but normally I'm right on that aspect. Uh, let me see what, what uh, aromas and nose I get out of here. Barrel, pecan, vanilla. Some sweet, sweet, sweet. Smell that maple in there and that cinnamon definitely is, is in there. And I'm hoping the cinnamon is not too strong because I'm not really a cinnamon guy. Like certain things you can pull it off with and it works well. Sometimes it'll overpower everything. So let's hope that's not what's happening here. Cheers, y'all. We're going to get into this joint. Okay. That's a mouthful, which is what I expected. Hmm. I taste everything. Everything. There's no... This up front, like... All right, so cinnamon up front vanilla, the pecan, the maple syrup, all up front. But on the back end, I'm getting syrup, maple syrup, smooth, sweetly, and nice balance with the cinnamon subtly there. Definitely the pecan. And to me, first off, I don't like pecan pie, but my family makes them, uh, specifically my father's side, all my people down south, they make them. Not really my thing. I'm getting very strong pecan in here which is nice. This thing is going down smooth as hell. It's not really too much of a, bite, of a bite. It's perfectly, perfectly balanced in my opinion. And it's just a very nice, well-rounded style. I gotta get another sip on that joint. Yeah, this is a sipper, not something you drink fast. Heavy pastry. Heavy sweetness, nice bite of bourbon or barrel just in general. I don't know which barrel they age in the time frame. Don't really care, but it's hidden. Definitely is there. Um, I do love the fact that this is oily, kind of slick, but not too much. It's again, it's perfectly balanced. Like I said, they they did their thing with that aspect. It's not too heavy on anything. And I was really, really worried about this cinnamon. 
I'm not gonna hold you. I was mad concerned about the cinnamon being in there. I'm like, yo, that's gonna be mad cinnamon. I ain't gonna really like it. Nah, perfectly balanced. Shout out to Holmes for this, man. Shout out to my man Doozy for the artwork. And definitely cheers to my man Brick. Uh, hashtag high ABV life. So this is glassware right here. But this beer gets two thumbs up. There's no fire. Give credit where it's due. Definitely a delicious beer. Um, like I said, I've had this for a while, probably close to a year, maybe a little bit less. If y'all can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. If you like pastry style, you like that nice everything going on, all that, you know, all at the same time, but perfectly balanced, this is the joint you can get. Now, I got to be a little bit cautious because I know that milk sugar probably going to have me a little messed up later, which normally happens when it comes to milk sugar and, and beer and stuff like that, that lactose in there. But it's not too prevalent in here. It gives it that creamy mouthfeel, but it doesn't make it feel milky or this. It's this thing that it does to me, and I can't really describe it. You know, I can point it out normally when I smell it. It's not too heavy there, which is a good thing. So either way, I'm still going to enjoy this style. Still gets two thumbs up. Still fire, still dope as hell. Shout out to everybody for coming through, watching my video. I appreciate you guys. Cheers to everybody that comes through and supports. As always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer. Until the next time I see y'all, stay safe, be healthy. Respect as always. Peace.